I hate to start my set off so braggy, uh, but I recently went to a television my taping myself. I uh, went to a taping of that show, The Talk. If you don't know what The Talk is, I still don't know how I got tickets. Uh, if you don't know what The Talk is, it's just like The View, and that's it. <laughs> There's no other difference. They had a show, and they're like, what if we had two shows? And then they did it. And I went to the wrong one. <laughs> and uh, halfway through the tapings, uh, the woman playing the Whoopi character <laughs> had, had the whole cast. Uh, she's, she stood up and she announced, everyone in today's audience gets a free year's supply of donuts, which was the greatest news I'd ever heard. <laughs> Until I thought about it at all. I'm like, a million donuts a day. Wait a minute. <laughs> I probably don't need the world's biggest supply of donuts for this. Uh, I don't know how many donuts you guys think are in a year's supply, but according to the donut people, sitting up there in their ivory towers, <laughs> it's 52 dozen <laughs> donuts for you fat pieces of shit. Um, <laughs> They, they must have had a meeting about it. They didn't pull it out of thin air. They're like, all right, donut consumption in a 12-month period? Uh-huh. Oh, for humans. OK. <laughs> I don't know, 700? <laughs> Is that it? Am I out of touch? 700? I'm using that as a base. Who knows how high this number climbs? <laughs> so they gave me a gift card with all that power in my fingertips. I couldn't handle it. Uh, I immediately sold my card on eBay. For $63, pretty good deal. <laughs> to a woman in Southern California that I can only assume has died. <laughs> oh. I didn't know her, never met her, don't know anything about her. I can just assume that if you're trolling eBay for donut deals, <laughs> your health is moving in a negative direction. <laughs> Uh, she should have talked to me. I figured out weight loss. Have not implemented it yet. <laughs> if you're wondering, um, here's what you do. If you want to lose weight, all you have to do is hang out with your friends who are in good enough shape that it makes you embarrassed to eat what you want to eat. <laughs> That's it. Like, if I go out to eat pizza with one of my model friends, which is something I'm doing constantly, uh, I, uh, they're like, uh, I'm like, what do you want to eat? And they're like, uh, one slice of pizza. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> I was going to say it. You said it first, but uh, just my usual one slice of pizza that I eat for a meal as an American man. <laughs> no, it's just that I, I'm usually a salad guy. <laughs> I can't believe we're eating pizza. What a treat. <laughs> this is what this tastes like. Um, and then when you go hang out with your dumb fat friends, uh, it gets a lot easier. And you're just like, pizza for a meal, four slices for me. Because that's what a meal is. Three slices to get full, and then one more, because I'm worth it. <laughs> uh, I'm getting healthier all over. I recently, two and a half years ago, I quit smoking cigarettes. Pretty good, thank you. And I also, quit smoking weed two and a half hours ago. So, so, well, I'm high, if that helps you. Currently, it's easy to quit when you're high. Um, it's a lot easier to quit smoking cigarettes than it is quit smoking weed, because cigarettes aren't the most fun thing I do all day. Yum, yum, give me some, I wanna marry them. That <laughs> is weed. There's no romance with cigarettes. You're never reminiscing with your friends about the time you got that carton. And then you just drove to the lake. That's not a full story. <laughs> a story is like, remember that time we got so high, we went to 7-Eleven and forgot what money was? <laughs> I had to ask the cashier, how do I make your Slurpee my Slurpee? <laughs> I'm out of ideas, man. Money, yeah, that makes sense. So here's what I'm doing. I cannot quit smoking weed. So 
Here's what I'm doing. I've quit smoking weed except for when these things happen. I have a list that I carry around of acceptable times to smoke. Number one, movies. <laughs> They're in 3D usually. I'm high. <laughs> Holidays, because what are you doing that's so great? <laughs> Outdoor parties, roof parties, deck parties, boat parties, anywhere you find P. Diddy. <laughs> you will find me smoking. Uh, museums. The last museum I went to cost me $25, and one of the rooms consisted of four yogurt tops. <laughs> you have to be high, I get it. I get it. Really cool weather, like a monsoon or rain or whatever. If someone has some and doesn't want to smoke alone, I'm a good guy. If you find some on the ground, <laughs> God put it there. Thank you. If a girl asks, I'm not saying that every time a girl asked me to smoke pot, it ended up in us having sex, but I am saying that it happened that one time, and I'm not willing to close the door on that. <laughs> if it's like really good shit. <laughs> They get easier towards the end. Uh, the last one, if I really want to. So there you go. There you go, and I live my life by it. Thanks, everybody.